God, that was... Yeah. Wham. I just want coins, to be honest. That's fair. I can't interact with that. And as such, I am out of here. And like that, you've lost. We literally just walk into a room and start talking to somebody. A body's been discovered! None of the fuck. Yeah. The office. Wait, weren't we in the office? Yes. Yeah, I didn't think we that were. was over here for some reason. Also, I like how we didn't mention the photo to Kyoko. The chem lab. You guys doing drugs? Inside the room, the small medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Because we're getting lit tonight! It's a remarkably big shelf and stocked with all kinds of medicine. Ah, listen, Makoto, listen! Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me! Okay, you know, just chill out. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before! Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine! This is all because we're got it. And what? They even have protein zyme X! That sounds like a uh mega evolution gem thing for Pokemon. Yeah, you're right. What's that? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um a it's high Russian. quality protein drink. It's nothing like the cheap swill in the warehouse. It's kinda sewer level. Oh yeah? That's am this is amazing! It's a gold mine! My prayers have finally been answered! Well, no good deed goes unpunished, so, uh, or no good reward goes un- I don't know. You're about to die. Time to Time load to up on- Okay, that was yours for some reason. Time to load yeah. up on some more prayers, then! A gold mine, huh? I've already taken a good look at the things around here. There's a lot to think about. For now, I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm. So is this everyone? Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Well, first off, um... Are you mad at me? I'm Kyoko. She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto? Does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right! She is, isn't she? She's totally mad! Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Uh, this is bad. There's a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor, and it has all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. Okay, so that's what the all-star is about. Someone better not poison the powder. Okay. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Mm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was a medicine and health. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um, there was also uh, a bunch of different poisons. Poison? They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. That's important. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. Um. 
Uh, and we probably shouldn't tell Biaki or Telco about the poison, right? Oh, what poison? As Biaka walks in. What do you mean? Oh. Well, just in case you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um. Just in case, yeah, I think you're right. However. It's Biakia. It won't be long before he discovers it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, there's absolutely the work of the mastermind. I mean, what happens if we just all pour it down the drain? You die. What? You die. Why? Because I kill you. I don't know. <laughs> I kill you! I kill you. Hmm. Filled a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center in the headmaster's <gasps> room. The headmaster's room? That sounds exactly like the kind of place we'd find some clues. If we somehow unlock the door and get inside. Who cares about a stupid lock? It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. What was that? No, please, continue. Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Hell no, I didn't. Hey, come on now. Oh, I almost fell on my chair. <laughs> then what did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing the dome to the door of the headmaster's room. Unbeal. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You know, I, you have any idea how how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? No, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. You're totally mad. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having these thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks. It's already been broken once, but who can- Well, it hasn't actually. Because it wasn't locked. Never mind, that's not been broken. Never mind, I'm wrong. Wait, what? Uh, the door in quote unquote Sayaka's room, aka my room. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Is he gone? Uh, oh man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me for serious. But it will, if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's so. room. But now that's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Except for pick the lock, because he said break down the door, right? Do you think anyone near here knows how to pick a lock? Yes. If uh, we had a certain Celeste still, I'm pretty sure she could've. She's the type. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor, and none of them budged an inch. In other words... Just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Mm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? Mm. I think so. So the two people who actually gave you some information, Aoi and fucking Hero. Yeah. For serious. It looks like nobody figured out any clues at all. Let alone a way out of here. Uh, I haven't found, been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? That? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. That's no. I have something that I don't like to report. So you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found the picture up on the third floor the other day? You mean the one that showed Mando, Chihiro, and Liano together, right? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost just like that one. Another one? Another one. Another one. But this time the picture was Celeste, Tafumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And they were all smiling. In the classroom, the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. So, the picture of Mando, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one? Now you found one that had Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka? But... But... 
How can that be? Conspiracy! Monokuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real, then everyone who is in it, there would have been some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Can't be! It's a fake! But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just write it off as a lie, so but... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Because huh? That's what you're saying, isn't it? So I mean, now, she's being unreasonable because she's mad at us. I mean... Kind of, but also kind of not. Um... I mean, it, believing it, a picture doesn't mean that you're not believing that people died. Well, they said that they never met each other. Yeah, but, I mean, obviously some freaky shit's going on here, so... Yeah, so... The one kind of... There's two options. Either they were lying about never knowing each other, or there's been some drug influence right now. No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. That's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? You have a smile on. That's weird. I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on. Stop fighting or all your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still. Um... Are you still conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Piakia! <laughs> you all have the same sunken looks on your faces. Look on your faces, whatever. You were all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking to a pile of manure. You know? Sorry. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone, you're not a part of this! That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine, we are, and always will be, completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly and has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if it happened to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Byakuya, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you, perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Oh, I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Hmm, good idea. Hmm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath! If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what could have been. Uh, mixed bath is too lewd for me. I am innocent Nayagi, and how dare you? We literally peeked on the girls taking a bath two chapters yeah. ago. Yeah, that did happen. You're right. Innocent Nagy, my ass. <laughs> you would want Nagy to, to innocent your ass. Um, we're gonna go to the dressing room. Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here after what? Al to hear what Alter Ego has to say to I. Oh. Hold on. Nugget. I know. Nugget. I know. Nugget. I already heard it from Wickmaster. <laughs> Wickmaster! Toko. You don't have to keep saying it anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop bothering me. How about that? You know the way, we have to talk to Alter Ego. Well. D you know, I made Maxter a promise. A promise? <laughs> my master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> if 
can get you a match here one. I'll give you anything he asks. Fucking sub. <sighs> you just love being mistreated. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm fine if you really want me gone by all means. <laughs> Fair. That is completely reasonable reaction. <laughs> Just hey get guys, the fuck what's out going of on? Um, we'd like you to move. Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. First of freaking ma ma <coughs> Okay, his voice is actually killing me. First of mega masochist. No, super sadist. Did you Jack is sitting in front of the laptop? I can't get to it. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely just to let us use the laptop. What? You SOB! Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. How about that? Come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo. One drop to your knees, two beseech. Why are you acting like you're not a part of this? I'm surprised he knows the word beseech. That's fair. I was... I was as desperate as I felt. For it, finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Please let us use the laptop. Oh, I'm on fire! Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent-up anger and master for abusing me is evaporating. <sighs> so, even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to all three. <laughs> okay! <sighs> I regret... I regret a lot. I'll go to bed every night for the rest of my life thinking about just what happened. I really regret reading that. You really came. Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Hmm. Just what I thought. I what see. I thought. Finally, the time has come. Um, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way, resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to Just shake. A Move. A single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take so over. Then. Here we go. Kiko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Sure, I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact, I discovered that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students at Hope Speak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan, but it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with this plan was none other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Wait, what? Hold on, then the reason we've all been imprisoned here? It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? No way! It was the school itself? <gasps> This doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think all thirty go is finished. Mm. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. It seems the reason they devised the what that. It seems the reason they devised the plan is because of what happened one year ago. This is how you describe they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What is that? Ifumi mean? wrote his first book. <laughs> 
Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy. It was a it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Hope Speak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. Then planned to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions with the computer, and the answer we got was... Sorry, I don't know if that information was ever on this computer. It's gone now. I'm totally useless, I'm sorry. And that's all he said. Then is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? It would appear so disappointing. Oh wait, there's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moving faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? No, I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one with the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. What? Um, okay, um, theorizing, hopefully it's completely wrong. Um, Kyoko mentioned something happening in her body and I'm hoping that she wasn't the original headmaster who was fucked over by someone else and put into a weird body that wasn't her own. Um, just a idea, hopefully not the case. I'm still curious who number 16 is. It seems okay. possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right the now. Headmaster? The headmaster is here in the school? Okay. Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious? But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. What happened no to you? What? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoka, what's going on? I... I can't explain why, I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So we should see if Otto Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop, laptop seemed to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. I'm really sorry. Then it really is all over. Wait, Alter Ego has more to say. So, um... Well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Uh... I haven't seen Celeste Tafumi Otaka since yesterday. Oof. Oof. That's a, a big heavy old oof silence oof. fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko type. They're all dead. What? I see. Certainly knew that was a possibility, okay, but then. it really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, there's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything anyway. about. Well, then I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done. 
I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So, Alter Ego did everything really? he could. <laughs> How did you do that one? Shut up. It's hard. We won't have to talk to him that at all that much anymore. But, but I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry, but he's just a computer program, right? Well, I know, I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, I did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer... Um... Yeah, I've never said thank you to Siri after it got me info. Yeah, never. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Kessie. You're gonna be the first person that dies, hero. When the machines take over, you're a fucking goner. I thought you meant me. I was like, what the fuck? No. Well, you were nice to him, AI, what? No. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. I'm not reading this. But you know what the difference between us and the program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you could differentiate a person in AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our That's friend. Right. Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Especially because he was based off of somebody who was our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives a value to survive. So... So, anyway... What? What? Don't so anyway that. It's totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from some... Quoted from I don't remember where. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, Just but... A second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um. Yeah, good idea. What was this Hope Speak staff thinking? What? Why are you making us kill each other? Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? Trump's Actually, no, it. it's the biggest, most awful, most um, despair-inducing event in human history, I think. I don't know, but it's not hopeless, I don't think it was the word. Okay, um, once again, Trump's election. It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. Something like that really happened a year ago? Um, I don't remember anything you could describe that way. What about you guys? I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have some kind of connection to the school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However, that kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. <laughs> then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that, I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries, they shouldn't be handling stuff like that. Do you pay taxes? Anyway... Maybe, but right now the only path open to us... So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. 
But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business here is done. Our wow. business is done for now. So for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um. Oh yeah, good idea. Then I. Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Go, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. Don't mad at me. Where is he, by the way? Didn't he come into the dining hall to tell us to go to the bathroom and then didn't follow us here? I mean, here I knew the information, so maybe he just went in there to grab some food. Maybe that's why he got us out of there, so he didn't have to eat with us. Let's avoid getting further... Getting involved any further. Uh, um. Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ba -bum, ba -bum. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. It's pounding with anger. <laughs> You're not so mad about the breaking the headmaster's room thing, are you? Well, that little matter doesn't matter a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. It's building, I can feel it building. My head's about to boil over with rage! Please! Don't get so mad here! Let me help send your chakra. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Fang for a fang? Be careful, you just chanted the incantation of devastation! This guy's a fucking genie. Genie? Genie. That's it. No, it's just a thing. Hmm. Oh, I see. What's he talking about? Bing bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. We spent the entire day looking at the room, the rooms upstairs, coming down here, talking for a little bit, and then talking to Alter Ego. That's like, what, 11 hours? 10, oh, 13 hours? It was 9 a.m. when we wake up, right? We spent 13 hours doing this? This is BS. It is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the best bug fight. Correct. So it's night time. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it makes me feel better that way. Uh, um, I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we'd learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrator of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. And these, mas and these mysteries keep making me worried. But I still have to try and ravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Let's talk a bit about where I was before I met. Let's talk a bit. Fuck, I can't read. Let's talk a bit about where I was at before I became a bear. 
At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what she'd become. The lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was all like, oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's really incredibly offer. But as she laid all the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger prom like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I was like, I like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then there's lady to only start laughing at me. She was like, you think you can? we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear and instead. the secret origin story of Monokuma. Well, we learned out Monokuma's origin story. Apparently, being a bear is cheaper than being a tiger prawn. Ding dong, bing bong. Bing dong, bing bong, indeed. Good morning, everyone! It is 7 a.m. That's even worse. We spent 15 hours. Over. Time to rise and shine! Okay, um, guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa. Doom. It has been over an hour at this point for this recording. I will have cut a little bit of it, so it'll probably be around an hour, so it's perfect. Good yeah. timing. We finished the previous day. And Good we time. probably get some free time starting soon. And uh, Hopefully. I I'm hoping that we can talk to Sakura yeah. today and figure out, seriously, dude, the fuck. Yeah. Also, like, tell me how it's been forever since I ordered sushi. Or at least I thought I had. So I went to see when the last time I ordered sushi was. <laughs> Nine days ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know that. Uh, I didn't I know remember. that. I thought it was forever ago. <laughs> I like we're doing an outro. You just start talking about sushi. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. 